You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. From the village, too. That's it for. Ray's been gone a long time. But she will return. You must believe she will return. May the songs of the lost. Must be something big going on. Oh, the village is moving towards that did smoke. It take to end the You're ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! In your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea. 
spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Araya came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then, you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrum. Ain't a cliff or no. Might be worth a shot. Challenges me. 